Oh, gather round, folks, because have I got the juiciest bit of gossip that's been making rounds faster than Meghan Markle can say privacy. It seems our favorite Barbadian superstar, Rihanna, threw the bash of the year for her 36th birthday, hosted by none other than WME, and guess who was conspicuously missing from the guest list? Yes, you guessed it, Meghan Markle herself. Let's set the scene. Milan, post-midnight, our birthday girl Rihanna, tiara and all, makes a glam exit, trailing glitter and probably a whiff of expensive perfume. With ASAP Rocky and their sons in tow, this was a departure fit for pop royalty. But where, oh where, was the Duchess of Discontent? Not in Milan, that's for sure. Now onto the party details that are juicier than a season finale of The Crown. Sources, those wonderful purveyors of behind-the-scenes whispers, have it that Rihanna's bash was an A-list whirlwind of celebrities, family, and yes, actual talent. We're talking about 30 of Hollywood's finest, everyone who's anyone except to him, Megan. Apparently, Rihanna made a deliberate choice, read Conscious Uncoupling Hollywood Style, to not invite the Duchess. Ouch. This shindig wasn't just any gathering. It was a star-studded affair with the creme de la creme of WME's clientele, including names that make even the most stoic of us starstruck. And amidst this constellation of stars, Meghan's absence was as notable as a flat note at the opera. Flashback to 2016, when Prince Harry and Rihanna were all smiles in Barbados, sparking rumors faster than you can say, tabloid fodder. Fast forward, and it seems the only thing fizzling out faster than those rumors is Harry and Meghan's invite to the A-list events. But let's not forget the real kicker. While Meghan was presumably scrolling through her contacts wondering where her invite got lost, Prince Harry has been making headlines of his own. The word on the street, and by street I mean every royal correspondence column, is that Harry's been itching to get back into the royal fold. Talk about bad timing, or maybe just wishful thinking. Ingrid Seward, that royal biographer who minces no words, practically scoffed at the idea of Harry waltzing back into royal duties. According to her, Harry's been living in la-la land thinking he can just walk back in. Let's be real. Between his and Meghan's Oprah interview and their less-than-flattering Netflix series, the bridge back to Buckingham Palace isn't just burned. It's obliterated. So as Rihanna's party rolled into the wee hours of the morning, one thing was clear. In the world of showbiz and royal dramas, not all is fair in love and war. For Meghan and Harry, it seems the party invitations and royal welcomes are drying up faster than a California summer. But hey, there's always next year, right? Maybe by then, they'll have figured out how to get back on the A-list, or at least the royal family's good side. 